If you work with WordPress, you'll know that both Astra as well as Elementor are powerful tools within the WordPress community. Today, we're going to have a look at both of them. We're going to compare them and see which one you should be using for, I guess, your particular use case. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's just jump straight into Astra's benefits. Astra is known for its lightweight structure. This ensures quick loading times and optimal performance for your website. You also get extensive customization options, which allows you to modify your headers, footers, typography, and also your coloring without any coding knowledge or coding experience. So it's all drag and drop. It's a very easy to use template. Also with a library of tons of pre-built website templates, Astro makes it super easy for you to get started really quickly and create a professional looking uh, website with minimal effort so again you don't need the tons and tons of experience to create something amazing also astra is built with seo best practices in mind which can help your website rank better in search engine results of course that is what we want astra also seamlessly integrates with popular page builders like elemental beaver builder and Gutenberg. This can enhance flexibility as well as usability. Also, Astra provides built-in features for WooCommerce, making it a great choice. If you are looking to build an online store, you can still go ahead and integrate Astra with um, WooCommerce. Having a look at Elementor, however, on the other side is um, a very intuitive drag and drop editor which allows you to create stunning layouts without any coding skills also which makes it super accessible for everyone if you want to build a website and you don't have any coding experience or background you don't have to be left behind also with elementor you can see your changes in real time which of course provides a seamless design experience i think it's absolutely amazing elementor also offers a wide range of widgets which includes advanced elements like sliders forms galleries which can give you a creative feel and um, a lot of creative freedom within your designs you can really do whatever you want also, um, you have responsive design controls. You can easily customize how your website looks on different devices with Elementor's responsive design settings. This is awesome because if you want to optimize for maybe an iPad or a mobile device or a, a computer, you want to make sure that your website looks good on all of these devices. Also, Elementor Pro includes a theme builder which allows you to design headers, footers, archive pages, which gives you absolute control over your site's appearance. Also, you can create eye-catching pop-ups for lead generation or announcements, which can absolutely enhance your user engagement. Now, of course, there's never ever good without bad, so we're going to have a look at some disadvantages. First of all, Astra does have a couple limitations while um, it is highly customizable. Some advanced features may be required um, for the pro version, which of course may not be suitable for all budgets. If you're just beginning, uh, it also might just be too much for you. Also, um, Elemental on their side, their performance uh, it can be a resource intensive potentially leading to slow loading times if it's not optimized properly. So again, if you're a beginner, maybe that's not the best option for you. You also have a super, super steep learning curve. Um, although Elementor is user friendly, you new users may still face a bit of a learning curve uh, when you first using it. This is just due to that drag and drop interface and all of the advanced features. It might just be overwhelming as a beginner. Also, occasionally um, you may encounter compatibility issues with Elementor and um, this will be for certain themes or plugins and it may be requiring a bit of troubleshooting and if you are not uh, with the pro version you may not get a priority support now both astro as well as elemental are fantastic they both have awesome features they also both do have some drawbacks of course and uh, you know to distinguish which one is going to be the best one for you particularly you need to go ahead and use both of them and see which one fits your needs as well as your preferences 
And if this was helpful, go ahead, drop us a like, show your support, and we'll see you next time.